The 19th century, a time of revolution and transformation. It was an era that saw the world shift gears at an unprecedented pace. The Industrial Revolution was in full swing, bringing with it a seismic shift in the way work was performed. Factories and machines replaced the old order of manual labor and artisan craftsmanship. The steam engine, the spinning jenny, the power loom, all symbols of a new age of industry and innovation. In the same breath, there was an explosion of scientific discovery and technological advancement. The world was introduced to the wonders of electricity, the mystery of the microscopic organisms and the marvels of the telegraph. The 1800s were truly a time of unbridled curiosity, exploration and invention. Amidst this whirlpool of change, an equally significant revolution was quietly taking place. This was the dawn of a new concept, a new way of thinking, the concept of computing. It was the birth of an idea that would ultimately change the world as we know it. In the heart of this revolution was a man named Charles Babbage. A mathematician, philosopher, inventor and mechanical engineer, Babbage was known as the father of the computer. His most significant contribution to the world of technology was his invention of the analytical engine, a mechanical general purpose computer. The analytical engine was a marvel of its time, a machine designed to be programmable to carry out any type of mathematical operation. It was the seed from which the mighty tree of modern computing would grow. Yet, in the shadow of Babbage's towering invention, a figure was emerging. A figure who would not only grasp the potential of Babbage's engine, but would also envision a future far beyond it. A figure who would etch her name into the annals of technological history. In the midst of this progressive era, a remarkable woman would emerge. A woman who would leave an indelible mark on the world of technology. This woman was Ada Lovelace, the enchantress of numbers, the pioneering trailblazer of computer programming. Ada Lovelace, born in 1815, was the daughter of the infamous poet Lord Byron and his wife, Lady Anne Isabella Milbank. Her birth was set against the backdrop of a tumultuous relationship, with her father's scandalous affairs and erratic behavior casting a dark shadow over the family. In fact, Lord Byron's notorious lifestyle became so unbearable that Lady Byron decided to separate from him when Ada was just a month old. With her father out of the picture, Ada's upbringing was left to her mother, a woman of intellect and fortitude who was determined to steer her daughter away from the perceived madness that she associated with her estranged husband. Lady Byron insisted that Ada be educated in mathematics and science, disciplines that were seen as a stark contrast to the romanticism and unpredictability of Lord Byron's world of poetry. In this environment, Ada thrived. As a young girl, she developed a fascination for machines and technology. She was particularly captivated by the Industrial Revolution that was transforming England and the world around her. From the steam engines powering factories to the intricate workings of the mechanical looms, Ada saw beauty and poetry in these machines, much like her father saw in words. But it wasn't just the physical machines that fascinated Ada. She was equally intrigued by the ideas and theories that underpinned them. She studied the works of the leading scientists and mathematicians of the era, and even as a child, she demonstrated a remarkable ability to grasp complex concepts and see potential applications that others often overlooked. Interestingly, Lady Byron's plan to shield her daughter from her father's influence may have had an unexpected outcome. Instead of suppressing Ada's creative instincts, her mathematical and scientific education seemed to fuel them. Ada's ability to blend the analytical with the imaginative, the precise with the poetic, would become a defining aspect of her character and it would play a crucial role in her future achievements. This early exposure to the world of science and mathematics would set the stage for Ada's future contributions. In 1833, a meeting that would change the course of Ada's life took place. A young Ada Lovelace was introduced to Charles Babbage, a man who would later be known as the father of the computer. This chance encounter blossomed into a friendship that would have profound implications on the world of technology. Babbage, a mathematician and inventor, had been working on a device known as the Difference Engine, a mechanical calculator of sorts. Yet his ambitions didn't stop there. He had plans for a far more complex machine, the analytical engine. This device was designed to handle any kind of calculation, not just arithmetic ones, and it was this machine that truly piqued Ada's interest. 
Ada was captivated by Babbage's machines, seeing in them potential that others failed to recognize. She envisioned a world where these machines could be used for more than just calculations, a vision that would shape the future of computing. Ada's fascination with the analytical engine led her down a path no woman, no person had ever tread before. This intrigue sparked a partnership with Charles Babbage that was to become one of the most significant collaborations in the history of technology. Ada began to work closely with Babbage on the development of the analytical engine, a machine that was designed to perform complex mathematical calculations. But Ada saw beyond the numbers. She envisioned a future where machines could not only compute, but also create. Where they could not only follow orders, but also generate new ideas. A future where machines could, in a sense, think. This vision led Ada to a groundbreaking realization. She understood that the analytical engine had the potential to do much more than simply crunch numbers. If given the right set of instructions, it could be programmed to perform any task, no matter how complex. And so, Ada set out to create these instructions. She began to write a series of steps for the analytical engine to follow. Steps that would guide the machine in performing complex calculations. Steps that would, in essence, tell the machine what to do. This was no ordinary list of instructions. It was a program, a program that would enable the analytical engine to solve problems that were previously thought to be unsolvable. A program that would, for the first time, allow a machine to think. Ada's program was a revolution. It was the first of its kind. It was, in fact, the world's first computer program, but Ada didn't stop there. She continued to refine her program to perfect it. She spent countless hours tweaking and testing, making sure that every instruction was just right. She was relentless in her pursuit of perfection, driven by a deep understanding of the potential of the technology she was helping to create. In the end, Ada's hard work paid off. Her program worked. It was a success. And with that success, Ada Lovelace had become the world's first computer programmer. Sadly, Ada Lovelace's life was cut short, but her legacy lives on. It was the year 1852 when Ada succumbed to uterine cancer, leaving the world at the tender age of 36. Her untimely death meant her work was left unfinished, her potential unrealized, and the magnitude of her contributions to science and technology largely unrecognized. For many years following her death, Ada's work slipped into obscurity, her notes, her theories, her vision for the future of computing, all seemed to have disappeared into the annals of history. It wasn't until the mid-20th century, nearly a hundred years after her death, that Ada's work was rediscovered. It was then that the world began to appreciate the true genius of Ada Lovelace. Ada's notes were more than just a collection of mathematical equations and diagrams. They were a testament to her foresight her understanding of the potential of computing machines that was so far ahead of her time, it was almost prophetic. Ada Lovelace didn't just see the analytical engine as a tool for crunching numbers. She saw it as a device capable of creating art, composing music, and simulating scientific phenomena. She saw the future of computing not just as a science, but as a means to advance human creativity and knowledge. As we move further into the 21st century, Ada's vision of the future of computing becomes more and more relevant. Today we live in a world where computers do more than just solve mathematical problems. They create virtual realities, compose symphonies, and help us understand the complexities of the universe. Ada's ideas have become a reality, and her legacy is alive and well in the field of computer science. Today, Ada is recognized as a pioneer in the field of computer programming. Her work on the analytical engine laid the groundwork for the development of computer programming languages. Her notes, often referred to as the world's first computer program, have earned her the title of the world's first computer programmer. In the modern world, Ada's legacy is honored in many ways. The second Tuesday of October is celebrated as Ada Lovelace Day, a day dedicated to celebrating the achievements of women in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Her name is also commemorated in the Ada programming language, a high-level language used in critical systems where safety and reliability are paramount. Ada's life may have been short, but her impact on the world of science and technology is immeasurable. Her vision, her ideas, her belief in the potential of computing machines all contributed to the development of the digital age we live in today. 
Ada Lovelace, a woman ahead of her time, a visionary who saw the potential of the machine age and laid the groundwork for the digital age we live in today.